everyone, this is Zarafira, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. So this is a space combat flight simulator. Um, you don't have to do combat. Uh, I'm actually not very good at it because I just started. Um, let's head into the Starport services quick here. So I'm playing this on my Oculus Rift, so you can look around your cockpit um, really well. You can look around behind your cockpit, um, as you can see uh, the arms. I'm not moving the arms, so that's just part of, um, I don't know, random animation, I guess. So what we're going to do here, uh, basically you start out, you do some tutorials. This game is extremely, it has a very high learning curve right off the bat. There's a lot of things to learn. Uh, there's a couple tutorials, which I'm not going to show right here. I'll show one of them at the end. Um, basically, it doesn't tell you anything. Um, let's refuel because... It doesn't tell you that you should do that. <laughs> I guess I should repair also. Um, I've got plenty, well, plenty for a starter credits. I start out with a thousand. I've done a couple courier missions. That's what I'm going to see if I can find now. I'm going to head to the mission board. And it's going to load. And hopefully. These are buy stuff. Uh, I guess we could try to go to Matet. Let's we'll see what this says. Uh, like your journey, what cargo laden, your ship's ability to reach that shape may be compared. So I get 25,000 credits for doing that, but I gotta get to Matet. So that's a. Okay, I have not been outside of the system. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Hopefully, Cargo's unique commission cannot be replaced with loss. You may receive a reward upon delivery. Okay, so we accepted it. Pick up location, this station. Items are in the depot. Items you are collecting and. So I don't know. Let's go to Yeah, according to this my inventory is empty. I think I need deliver two units. And I don't have any units on me. Okay, let's go back to the services. Okay, so just so you know, not all ships have these, or sorry, uh, bases, um, starports. I mean, there are some planetary ones. Uh, I've not been to them. Have shipyards, outfitting, or maintenance. I think. I know they don't have these two for sure. Okay, where is? Mission board. Progress. Click that. You are now at the pickup location. Collect. I need two, correct? All items have been collected. Okay. Now let's look. Okay. So I've got the cargo now in my inventory. By the way, you just look to your right and this menu comes up. I figured you could probably figure that out. Okay, so now I need to head to Yep, two units. And I need to head to Matet at the Calho uh, station. 
Okay, so I'm just going to do auto launch. So this is a new feature recently. Um, it's both cool and a little um, like, oh man, um, you used to have to pilot your ship out of and into and land um, all the time manually, and it was quite difficult. <laughs> uh, but it had a coolness factor to it that made you think that, yeah, I did it. I think with a lot of practice, you could get really good at it. I don't know if you'd get as good as what's going to happen right now. So, uh, I'm just going to auto-launch. So it's going to pilot me through that hole up there right on its Right on its own. So you see that green light on the right? If you didn't stay in the green light and you could see those ships coming in, you could run right into them as they're trying to dock. Okay. So let's speed up a little bit. the galaxy map and go to attack. Speed restrictions are now lifted. Have a safe trip, Commander. So, if you look on the right, it says mass locked landing gear and cargo scoop. Mass locked means that you're way too close, uh, in this case, to the station, so they're not going to allow you to jump out. See, as you move your controls, your hands move. That's the throttle. Let's just keep on here. Okay, let's see if we can go to the galaxy map. Okay, so this is the slight, you know, it looks like it's huge just by looking around the map of where we are. We'll have to find Matet in a second, but I'm just going to show you how big this place is. If I can. Okay, here we go. And bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. As you can tell, this is a huge, a huge game. There's the center of the universe or whatever this galaxy, whatever we are in. This is where I am. And we'll just come in a little bit at a time. And you can see how many stars there are. It's it's huge. I mean, all of these over there, you can explore every single one of these. Uh, you just have to figure out how to fuel yourself to get to them. Well, there's Matet, so that's where we want to get to. Where to go? There it is. see it's also when it's not just flat I mean there's plenty of ups and downs you need to figure out okay so we've selected the pet okay so now if you're looking at my center radar you a little bit to the left and there's that little blue circle over there as it's moving around. We need to line that up. And here's the problem with playing in VR is that I use, need to use the keyboard also. We'll hit J. Frame shift drive charging. Right. 
thought it was aligned, but perhaps I'm not. Oh, maybe it was behind me. That was probably the, it was because it was a circle. It was behind me. See my fuel on the right there. I hear stuff. I don't know. System. As you can see, there's a big old sun, uh, star, I should call it, not sun. So, uh, as you can see, unidentified stable source. That means it's probably some sort of, could be, combat situation. Not necessarily. I need to go to Motep 1. Let's double check the transactions. So, Cohello Station. Well, home station in the Wintet system. There it is. So it's nice and highlighted in blue. And I just screwed up. There we go. Lock. And let's use the assist. And, okay, it's already highlighted up there. And we'll throttle blue. Okay, so we're already in super cruise. Uh, as you can see, we've got, it says 10 minutes, but obviously it's kind of gone much faster than that. That's a light seconds, not light years, light seconds. So I have to watch my throttle as we're coming in and look out for other planets and things that will use our gravitational pull that will outdo my throttle. Well, this seems pretty fair forward, straightforward. I think it's down, down in the throttle for me on its own. So maybe that's what the, the assist is all about. So I'm not slowing down, but it seems to be slowing down for me. Which is really kind of nice. I mean, you can just let the thing do the job for you. It's just that you have to do the other work of uh, maybe correcting your course. I don't know, I'm not really moving just to see what happens. But as you can see, it's quite gorgeous. I guess we're in some sort of dead planet or moon. I don't know what that, if that's a ship over there. But there's some ships in front of us. So I'm playing in solo mode, but it doesn't mean that there aren't other ships out there. There's just that other players I don't think can screw with me. Okay, I see. You. Yep, it slowed down on purpose, so... Okay, so I need to do that. Go over here, go to contacts, go to approve, and request off. Alright, 
so auto pilot took over again. Landing permitted to set down on landing pad 04. Automated docking approved. You may now handle the control. So as you can see, you would need to maneuver yourself into this station on your own. Whoa. And avoid the other ships. <laughs> Classical music here in this star base. Alrighty. So you would have to maneuver yourself to this landing pad and touch down on your own, but you wouldn't do that anymore, which I don't know. The music is a little bit more enjoyable, so we'll enter the enter the hangar here quick. Alright, so we'll hit Starboard Services. Uh, we'll go to the mission board. We'll wait for it to load. There we go. And we will get deliver items. One. There we go. I guess I need to move it in a different direction. Deliver items. And complete. And we get. What do we get? Okay, we get 25,000 credits. Incoming message. Okay, I don't know what this message is. Just exit, look up here. Promotion to mostly penny list, penny list. Pilots Federation District permit issue. So I've got a couple new messages here. Uh, so I guess I've made enough money to become mostly penny list. to one of the powers and yeah if you move your head a little bit too much while you're reading a message you, you'll lose everything. Let's look down, let's look back up. And it might be better for me to actually read this. I'll read this actually in the video. And let's get back and do a permit, pilots, blah blah blah. I think I already had that. Okay, so as you guys can see, I mean, there's a lot to do. There's at least there's a shipyard here, um, and outfitting. So if I wanted to, as you can see, there's my weapons. I could add utility mounts, browse. Shield boosters. I mean, there's all sorts of things you could add to your ship. Let's look at a hard point. Um, I got two pulse lasers on loan, apparently. Um, okay, laser, laser, mining tool. So if I wanted to add a mining, mining tool, I'd have to get rid of one of my lasers. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, let's look at the ships really quick. See what we can see here. Okay, so this is my ship, the Sidewinder. Um, shipping, there's five ships available. There's a lot more than just five ships in the game. Okay, let's do this, because I'm not actually going to buy anything. Hopefully I didn't spend 32,000 credits, but if I did, that's no big deal. Or did I just buy another Sidewinder? <laughs> Like I, I spent thirty-two thousand, I might have just bought another sidewinder. Okay, here we go. So here's some more ships here. Uh, I guess I wasn't moving through. Uh, so that was the e eagle. This is the hauler. I wish you could actually see them more than besides the red outline, but you can look at those online. Adder, Viper, Mark Three. Wow. That actually looks fairly good. I don't know if that's new or not. Um, and the Sidewinder, which apparently I own two of now. <laughs> um, yeah, like the game can be unforgiving if you make a mistake. Um, I don't know. That's what we're just gonna let's do this. Store chips. Sell the store. Oh, I I could sell it for a whole zero credits. Okay, let's we'll just hold on to this extra Sidewinder. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is show you some combat, but I'm not going to do it with this actual in-game. I'm going to leave. We're going to go to the main menu. And we're going to do the, the simulator uh, training really quick. We're going to hit continue. We're going to go to the training. We're going to go simulation. We're going to go to combat. So it's with the Sidewinder, it's not exactly, you start with a, like a Gatling gun on your right, a multi-cannon apparently. I've got a tip-off for you, Commander. Potential bounty hunting opportunity. The target should be passing through this sector soon. Don't worry, you got this. There he is, right on time. Don't get too excited though. Before you engage, you need to make sure he still has a bounty on his head. Target his ship to scan him. Power where you need it, when you need it. This 
target won't put up much of a fight, so I'd suggest you put full pips to weapons. actually earned those credits, but um, we'll head back to training, and that's where I'm going to call it today, guys. Um, this is Elite Dangerous. Uh, again, beautiful game. Um, it actually is fairly old, but it's still, um, especially in VR, extremely gorgeous, um, but very high learning curve. Uh, flying, and also, more importantly than the flying, is probably learning everything you need to do with your ship, with upgrades, buying a new ship, how to earn money, how to keep your fuel up, because if you use your fuel in the middle of a jump, I don't think it warns you. I think you're just stuck until someone, like another player, comes and saves you. Um, anyway, that is it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Elite Dangerous. And I will talk to you all next time. Alright guys, see you later.